Hi, I'm Daniel and welcome in this Ultimark tutorial and this time we will be taking a look at the Ultimark trackball. So if you own a arcade machine or you want to make your own arcade machine, chances are that sooner or later you want to go for a trackball. It's fantastic to use, there are many games uh, who use it, Marble Madness, um, the, golf, uh, uh, the golf games. Um, many games and it's easy for Windows operations also. So there's always a mouse um, uh, on your control panel. Um, for many years I used the Ultimark trackballs now, uh, not because they're sponsoring me, but I, I used them for many years, I, I love them. The quality is excellent and they're really easy to set up and they always work, which is for me it's very important. Uh, if you build a lot of cabinets, you, you need stuff that works. So if you order it, this is basically what you get. It's a big bowl. You can choose several colors. This is the transparent one because I will be using LED lights. Um, you need to purchase the, the lighting, the LED separately. It's a small PCB, I'll show you later. And you mount it on the bottom. There's a hole here and the uh, light emits through the bowl and the bowl will lit up in, in RGB uh, colors. So if you buy it, this is what you get, the trackball. There is a ring attached to it and depending of the size of the hole you cut in your control panel you can uh, choose uh, yes or no if you want the ring or not. For aesthetic reasons I usually don't use it so my hole is a little smaller and then it goes flush uh, in the control panel but if you make your uh, hole a little bit larger you can just use the ring and it, it looks fine so this is uh, really nice. Then the wiring is super easy because you can just plug a USB cable, USB 2.0 cable in it and Windows will recognize it as a mouse. So no further installation, installation needed. Uh, this small board, uh, I, will, I will show you later in a close-up, this, uh, this board comes complete with the trackball, uh, but you can also order trackball uh, without one. So make sure if you want to use the USB function to, to buy the small PCB together, order it together. But let me get it off. As I'm using two Ultimate I.O. boards, um, I will be plugging in the trackball um, directly into the, the Ultimate boards. So this is also a fun feature. I don't need an extra USB cable. I will just plug it in. So in this video, I will show you how to mount it. Uh, I recorded some previous videos in the workshop while I was building this cabinet. This is a monster four player cabinet with everything you can think of. Um, and uh, I will show you how to mount it and I will show you how to uh, install it inside of MAME uh, but it's super easy to do so without further ado let's get to it. Let's take a look at the inside of the trackball. I removed the four screws already so you can take a sneak peek inside. You don't need to do this to install it but it's fun to see. So it contains a, a big uh, acrylic bowl which is a little bit oiled up, so it feels, feels great. This is the transparent one. Let me get it here. Don't drop it. <laughs> and it contains the small shafts. And each shaft have, has two uh, ball bearings. And it's beautifully made, very high, heavy quality. Let me get it here. Here are the two sensor boards. So these shafts, they have a small wheel with holes. The holes are turning. There will be light put through these holes to know what position the, the ball is in. Let me get it back. So and this is the inside of the trackball. So this is the control panel. Well the back side of course and the trackball will be mounted in the middle and the first thing we are going to do is open the Ultimar trackball and see if the hole we could fit so here it is You need to, be, need to be a little bit careful not to get dust. 
inside the bowl, keep it very clean. And these track balls, they run wonderful. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, perfect. So there's a little room to play, but uh, this is wonderful. Let me turn it over, Be careful. So let me get it like this. So this is exactly how you want it. So a perfect size. Then we need a screw, a big one that fits barely inside these four holes. These are the four mounting holes and there is no wiggle. So the point of the screw is always exactly in the middle. And this is very important. So let's align the trackball exactly right like this and now we will just get the screw in hold it in place and give it a little tap with the hammer like this hold it in place like this hold it in place like this and here and now we have four holes and we will double check that they are aligned but I think we are fine so what you can do is mark with some tape how far you can drill but I don't really care if we go all the way uh, uh, through um, because I use a very thick vinyl and you will not see the screw holes and it's actually uh, easier than uh, not going um, far enough because you will have a very hard time you need to cut the screw off to the correct length otherwise so I will drill all the way through Here's the assembly set. This comes complete with the Ultimark trackball. Let me get it out. And again, the screws are very long, so you you need to be very careful that are that are not uh, breaking your uh, control panel uh, and go too deep. But in this case, uh, we are fine. So as you can see, I'll get the control panel. The, the screw is a little less than our wood length here, so this will be fine. So we will get these, I'm not sure what the English word for it is, but brackets in place. thing you need to uh, take in mind or take care of is there is an arrow here and this arrow points to your monitor so the trackball will be mounted like this so at the other side obviously but the arrow goes away uh, from you um, so this is the only thing you need to take care of let's get it in place
This is the PCB with the LEDs. It's already connected. We will push it in here. And there we have it. It looks really good. So the trackball runs great. The mouse cursor is moving. Windows is recognized uh, as a mouse. The two mouse buttons here are connected directly to the IPEX, uh, to the ultimate IO boards, I, I must uh, correct myself. So the only thing we need to do now is um, uh, configure the trackball in main, but that's really easy to do. So we go to hyperspin, take the shortcut, we are and we go to main and then to marble madness maybe and let me see if I can find it because it's an eight terabyte drive with games so it's <laughs> it's a it's a huge collection marble madness Mega Man I'm already too far. Maze. Mallet Madness. I think it. Oh, here it is. So, right. Marble Madness. Down. Loading complete. I can hear the servo sticks moving. So, this is Marble Madness. And the only thing we need to do is press the tab key. I, I configured it as the menu key, but press tab on your keyboard, like this. Then we go to uh, input general, enter, player one controls, enter. Then we go down, all the way down. To track. There we are, track. And track stands for trackball, of course, and uh, we will configure it in the following way, we will just press start for the X coordinate, which is to the side. So this is the side, and we go to the I, the Y, press start, and then we go up, and that's it. And now it's configured. Press menu again, insert some coins, and if things are correct, we can play the game. I do suck at this game. But it's really nice to do. Okay, anyway. So this was it. We installed the Ultimark trackball into our control panel and configured it in MAME. It works excellent. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, also take a look at the other videos, the other tutorial videos. See you later. Happy gaming. Bye!